Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and it is the first Tuesday of the month, and you Unreal Engine developers know what that means. It is time for Christmas in June. Yes, five more free assets for yours. They are yours free to keep forever, so long as you, air quotes, purchase them before the first Tuesday of next month. Nothing new in the free edition thing once again. Uh, here we're going to start with the very first asset. This is the only one that actually is a create a project asset, so it seems like a good place to start. And it is the Interaction System Starter Pack. To be honest, this is the only, like, uh, verb-like action in here. It's the only one that's, uh, you know, blueprints or code-driven of this month's assets. And this one is all about uh, interactive systems. So you can see here, you got E to open a door. There's a little button over here, but you can't open that. Oh, you can, actually. Uh, it's over here. You've also got the option of with the uh, E key. You can pick an item up, like so. Uh, with the F key, you can throw said item. Uh, we also could pick items up, like so. So I could close this door over here again. And let's pick a different item up, drop it on this pressure plate like so, and put it down. So there you can see the kind of systems that this does. We also got, again, another button over here for closing the door. Here you got put cube in slot logic there. The little green light turns on. We've got the same thing, but much more difficult with the put cylinder in slot. Uh, over here, you got synced input. So you see one does the other. Over here, we have Jenga. So again, I could come in here, grab one of these things, and uh, pull it out. Uh, over here, we've got just items that we can use in the world. So, for example, we've got a firearm, and we can see how firearms firearms interact with breakable items. We also have a coffee cup. Let's go ahead and can I shoot the coffee cup? Yes, I can. Uh, so there we see it. again. I can throw my weapon as well. We saw the breakables earlier on. Uh, we have another breakable here in the form of um, you know walls that you can mine through, like so. Also have destructible foliage, like this. And then finally, again, let's throw that off to the moon. I have a very good throwing arm, as you can see. This one doesn't seem to work. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but this one does. So you see here, opens and closes. Maybe I got to push that button. Oh, yeah, I do. You have to push that button to open the sliding door. That's not very intuitive. Uh, here we have uh, breaking the glass. So let's take this and put this on there. Oh, okay, so let's grab this guy. Come on up. Let it go. And I assume I have glass, glass there that I can... Boom. No, I don't know what they mean by that. And then finally, we have this pipe that we can put in here to complete pipes. You notice you got these neat little snapping uh, functionality in there as well. Uh, this is entirely blueprints based, about 30, 35 blueprints in this collection. And that is item number one. So that is the interactive uh, system starter pack. Next up, we have stylized winter city environment. Uh, this is very ye old England um, Christmassy vibe to it. And as you can see, it is a number of different buildings. Obviously, these are all uh, blueprints, so you can drop them in. We've also got some Christmas presents and going on. So nothing says June like a wintry Christmas uh, Victorian city. But the only thing I really don't like with this pack, I love the art style. I like the stylized, this stylized look is really kind of growing on me, kind of realistic, cartoony style. Uh, the only thing I am not liking in this, I like the tree, although the... Uh, <laughs> the uh, ornaments aren't necessarily going with the tree from all angles. Uh, what I'm not keen on is this wreath. And I know it's it's a, a bit of a minor thing, but it's got no depth to it other than the ornaments, which I find, I don't know, a little annoying. Same with this banner over here. But those are very minor quibbles. Obviously, everything you see here, let's go check out the preview scene. You can see what's used to make this. Uh, everything is modular, so you can... Move. Uh, you can do a lot with it, so it could, you know, potentially make uh, castle walls out of it, and uh, so everything you saw here was made in a modular manner. And then we've got the decorations, like the windows, the window sills, and so on. And I don't know where my annoying wreath is. It's going to be here somewhere, but window frames, etc., for creating a, this kind of environment. Um, yep. Yeah. So that one is pretty straightforward. I guess my annoying wreath is going to be over here in the Christmas section, where we have our tree, various different presents. And again, the wreath that annoys me so much because it has virtually no depth. <laughs> and I'm over it now. Okay, so the next one is an example of how lighting doesn't always work in the newest version of Unreal Engine. Now, this is a pretty common thing that you're going to run into with these free assets if you're using them in Unreal Engine 5.2 like I am demoing. And you will notice this asset demo is very, very, very bright. Now, this is just due down to the, the different uh, lighting systems we've got. What you are eventually going to be looking at is the Meta Furniture Pack. There's a ton of assets in here, sofas and so on. But let me show you how you can actually go about seeing them. So just come into your outliner, search for volume, and find your post 
most process volume. It's a little bit different than this time than it was in previous months. But once you've got this selected, go into details, and you'll notice it has min and max brightness checked for some odd reason. Just turn max brightness off, and presto, you can actually see the asset. So there's always just little lighting quirks when it comes to Unreal Engine 5.2, and a little bit so in 5.1. I think some of it is the lumen switch. I'm not 100% certain why this happens. In this particular case, it what came down to just straight out that max brightness was set to the same as min brightness. Uh, so when you check these things out, you are going to notice that. But it is, well, it's furniture. It's modern furniture. Uh, and yeah, a number of different sofas and such. Uh, a pretty straightforward asset once you actually can go ahead and see it. Is there anything down this corner? No. No, there's not. Just a hall of mirrors. So if you need chairs and tables and end tables and so on and so forth, that is what this pack is all about. Uh, you're actually going to find uh, in the showcase level, uh, I already uh, made that same edit to it. It has the same problem. Uh, but this will show you, oh, sorry, the overview. So I already fixed this one. It will have the same brightness problem that you got to just change that max brightness over. Again, that's in the post-processing volume that you make that change. And again, a ton of different sofas, different sizes, uh, different variations. We got uh, some throw pillows to go with them. And yeah, if you need to... Uh, stock a uh, furniture store in your world and they got you here obviously a number of different materials as well very modular asset so um a flexible one probably one that people will find some use from so that then ladies and gentlemen was the meta furniture pack m-e-d-a Next up, we have the Shantytown Slums, the happiest place on earth, as you can tell from the name. Uh, this is, it's a shantytown. It's a slummy shantytown, a bunch of stuff uh, sort of mashed together, made out of leftovers, and um, kind of got that Far Cry vibe level to it as well. Uh, you're going to notice off in the... Uh, the boundaries there. We've also got a number of different trees, etc. We've got uh, raggedy looking hydro lines to work with here. And then a number of basically building blocks for creating a shanty type environment. Let's go check out the overview map of this guy. Nice thing is the, the lighting on this one is completely fine. So again, you got a number of different trees from a jungle type environment, uh, a number of different corrugated, uh, like, uh, what would that be? Like just corrugated materials in general. We've got a variety of different wall types over here. Uh, we've got some stairs and some security fencing and uh, yeah, wood planks, tires, uh, cinder blocks. We've got a couple of prefab buildings already there. And you know, pretty straightforward asset once again. This whole pack is honestly pretty straightforward. And now our final asset, the Vintage Room Environment, which is, again, another Victorian-era interior environment. We've got a gramophone over here. we got a lamp. Um, you know, let's just turn off, turn off all the other stuff in the world here. Globe, some books. What is the book? Beauty of the Artist's Mind by Samuel Briggs. Yeah, they, they really like that author. They've got a couple copies of it. Uh, so that is it. And we got a chair here. Uh, we got a... a is it, what the hell is there a TV doing in this scene? Uh, it's an old school TV, but it ain't Victorian era old. Uh, so yeah, this is um, kind of a, a sketchy looking room with a TV for some reason. And what you'll notice is if you turn this way, that is it. We have a, a very empty room. They didn't put anything else in, which is a choice. Uh, again, another pretty simple asset. It's... Uh, everything you see to create this environment right here. Let's go take a quick look at the overview map. And it's uh, this is by far and away uh, the simplest asset in this collection, number of interior and exterior walls, and then all of the clutter that went together to make that room. So we got a couple different desk designs here, uh, a chair, globes, some luggage, uh, some shelves, a rug, and that's about it. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is this month's free stuff. So, quick recap. We have the Interaction System Starter Pack. We have the Stylized Winter City Environment. We have the Meta Furniture Pack. We have the Shanty Town Slums. And then finally, we have the Vintage Room. Uh, you can grab these guys. Basically, go to free. Go to free for the month. And you will find this month's free stuff. Now, this is, I uh, recorded this yesterday, as far as you're concerned. So, the stuff isn't actually up here yet. But basically, each one, add it to cart, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart. Check out before the first Tuesday of next month. And these are yours to keep free forever. So, let me know what you think of this month's free content. And yeah, that's it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.